Hi and welcome, it's your favourite Yorkshire demo here. This is Suzanne at hullabaloo.com and today I'm back with another in my Simple Sunday series. So today we are showcasing the Friends for Life bundle. Um, so this is the Friends for Life photopolymer stamp set. As you can see, it's got a mixture of um, serif fonts, sans serif bit of script and it's got some images to go alongside it. So as normal with my Simple Sunday videos, these are where I limit myself to just five items to make a simple looking card and show that you don't need an extensive craft room or equipment to make pretty things. Um, this is the card we're making today. As you can see, very pretty. I'm featuring Melon Mambo as my colour of choice today. And as you can see, it makes such a beautiful card. If you want to craft along with me, this is what you will need. The Friends for Life stamp set, of course. Memento, which is my trusty in every Simple Sunday video. As I said, the colour of choice is Melon Mambo. And then as normal, I am using a thick basic white um, piece of A4 for my card base. And then I've got some normal thickness of A4 here. One is three by three, which is the front square. And then I've got a couple bits here for my stamping. So, if you want to join along, pause now, otherwise we will crack on with getting this done. So, I've already chosen the stamps I'd like to use. So, there's this big friend here. Um, I'm using this little blob here, using the hearts, and then I'm using the uh, wording happy birthday. I've already got these mounted onto my block, so I'll just move everything else out of the way. So we'll get the hearts stamped first and the word friend. So I've got my hearts mounted onto a B block here. Just get these inked up. And we want two of these. And then the word friend. It's quite a big, big chunky stamp there, which is great. I love when a big stamp can really take centre on a on a set get that stamped and just give it a good press make sure it's got every part of it on there brilliant and that's everything oh no I tell a lie it's not everything for Melon Mamba on the 3 by 3 piece we need the splodge as I'm calling it I'm going to get a piece of scrap because I want to stamp this off and have the second generation colour, not full strength. Um, so ink that up. Stamp it off and then we're putting it just here, ready for a bit of a background to the happy birthday. That's that. And speaking of the happy birthday, that's the only thing, other thing that is left to stamp. But that one is going to be done in Tuxedo Black. So my trick for this is on the ink pad, press down, turn it a little bit while you're inking and then tap, tap, tap. It gets a good, nice coverage. So let's get this nice and straight. there we go beautiful right so we can pop both of those inks away so that we don't get them on our, on our hands pop that on bucket in my shelf move my scrap paper out of the way this one isn't going to take too long to actually do a makeup so there's our base that's our bottom so that's all ready that can go on the front there and then what we're going to do with these two is we're going to do some fussy cutting. Now you can use the dies for this. They, they do come with a pack of dies. It's that crumb next to me here. So as you can see, there is a die that will cut out the word friend. And there are dies that will cut out the hearts. But um, what I'm showing here is that you don't need a die cutter to do this. All you need is a nice sharp pair of scissors. And I'm using my, my snips here. So the hearts, we want to separate them rather than keep them in the, the, the way that they're stamped. So I'm just going to go around these, um, leaving that white border that the stamping up dies traditionally leave when you are 
die cutting out a shape. So I'll do that there. And that's one. Pop these up here when they're done. Um, and then we've got the bigger heart. Do the same with this one. And then what I do is I always make sure I get rid of the excess card because I don't want to be squabbling with any pieces while I'm trying to cut round. So as I always do, I keep my scissors wide. I manipulate the card while I glide the scissors shut so that you get a nice smooth cut. And then as I, the scissors are almost closed, I reopen them and we go again. So this is cutting really nicely. The only bit I don't like cutting is curved lines because I can never, <laughs> I almost chop them right off. I'm not so great with a curved line. Um, and then we'll do the same again. So a little heart, go around that. I'm doing quite well here. Excess card away and snip down this last piece. So that's another little one. And then get rid of the excess on this big one. And we'll get this one cut out as well. The word friend, I am literally just going to go around it like that die would. Um, so that we can pop it up off the card and give some texture and layering. Now I've gone done these quite quickly but you can of course take as much time as you feel you need to get your desired finish to them. But there's the four hearts and then we'll just quickly do this word friend. This is bigger so it's a bit easier to do. And again, just leaving that white border like the die would. Because that means we don't have to be as neat. And it means I can get away with some little minor imperfections with it. Cutting along the, uh, if you were to cut it right on the edge of the melon mambo, you might not get away with those imperfections. So this allows us to get away with that a little bit and not be perfect cards that have to be perfect, they're handmade, that's the whole point. I'll keep going around this, I'm just going to get rid of this excess card and then carry on from where we got to. There we go. And then round here. Now, if I was to cut right to the letter R, um, it would actually cut it off because there's, as you can see, they're not joined. So what I've done with this is I've gone round as close as I can round the, the top of the eye, the dot, and then I've gone in a little bit just to accent that. And then I've gone down as close as I can and then just joined it. If that makes sense there, look. So if I move that, you can see that I've gone down as close as I can and kept them still attached to one another. And then round this last part. Now feel free to skip this part if you want, but I'm just gonna take this last little bit just to remind everybody about my new newsletter. So it's happening, it's a monthly newsletter, so you're not going to get um, lots of spam. Um, you can choose to sign up for promotions at the same time that you choose sign up for the newsletter, but it's all free. Um, the newsletter will give you an overview of the products and projects that I've made during that month, um, allow you to re-watch videos and it will give you access to free content that isn't available publicly on my YouTube so 
again lots of free access all you need to sign up is an email address in which um the email can be sent to every month and that you're happy to receive it to that is it that's all you need um there will be promotions in that newsletter if stamping up are doing anything like free shipping days or if the new a new catalogs upcoming etc all that will be contained within the newsletter to keep you um in the loop just get rid of that um so yeah it's going to be once a month towards the end of the month um so that we can give you heads up of what's happening in the month to come um like i say additional free content that could be playlists around techniques it could be that um i do um 3d projects which become their own pr playlist and so on but they will not be going on my youtube publicly they will be just for newsletter readers so it's important that you sign up if you don't want to miss out um again no obligation to buy anything no obligation there's no subscription fee it's all entirely free so you may as well and then if you don't like what you see that's absolutely fine there are options to opt out of receiving the newsletters um if you if you just don't want to receive them anymore um so yeah that's all ready and going um you just have to go to hullabaloo.com forward slash newsletter or there is a link in the description bar below here right that's our friend done I'm just get these rid of this there we go we're now ready to build up the card so i'm using dimensionals for these because it's easy enough to do and um, i'll bring my minis in as well just in case so on the back of the word friend i think this is where i did use minis i'm going to use a big one there put bigs where i can fit a big um, of course, hmm. I think I slightly over egged where, what could fit there. Yeah, that'll do. Um, can I fit another big? No. Right, we'll put some minis on here now. So I'll put one up there and then I just dot them where I can fit a mini so that we can get a decent stick. Just one more, I think. We'll put that up there. So that's friend done. We'll bring our three by three down so that we can do this. So I think like that. And then on the back of the bigger hearts, I'm using a bigger dimensional. And on the back of the smaller hearts, I'll be using minis. Like so. I take the backs off so that they're ready. Take the backs off the friend. And then we can get these all stuck on and get the card built up. Right, so I think I want friend, I want it so that the D is just on like so like that I think yeah and then we'll have a big heart up here we'll have a little one down here I think I'll put another big one just over here and we'll put another little one just down here and then as I normally do five on the back of this square so that we can mount it onto the card itself. Pop those out of the way. Get the backs off. There we go. And then card basing. Which way do I want it? That way. And then as normal equal bordered around the three sides where you can i pop one corner down so i've still got a bit of a pivot to work with and there we go 
we have got two simple Sundays using the Friends for Life bundle and Mel Mambo. Um, so of course if you want to buy any of the products that you've seen in today's video below this video there is a description bar if you expand that out you will see all of the supplies the measurements and the tools that i've used including my sharp nose scissors um the newsletter link is also down there you can also go and read on my blog about this and other promotions that are currently happening um, we're on my online store and I hope to see you next week where I will bring this stamp set back for a stepped up Saturday. See you then. Bye.